What is up, guys? It is the Blue Bloods here, back with another episode today. We had an amazing interview with my guy, Corian Harris, newly Southern defensive back, former Kansas and McNeese defensive back. Go check that out and learn about the newest defensive back over there for Southern. We also had a whole episode on Tennessee State continuing their huge mo momentum, landing another three-star transfer and Corey Gross. So go check that out. And we have another huge episode today where Chris Degree out of all, from Alcorn announced his transfer and just announced today he will be taking his talents down to Grambling to join an already loaded secondary for Hugh Jackson and this new coaching staff over at Grambling. And listen, this was a big transfer. This was a big loss for Alcorn. They they do still have KJ Kinsler, but now losing Jawan Taylor to the draft, and now Chris Dagry headed to Grambling. That's two big losses in the secondary for Alcorn that they're going to have to replace now. But this was another huge addition following Cam Jones and some of the other big impact players Grambling's already landed in their defensive backfield. But they get a guy with SWAC experience, starting experience in the SWAC, and I'm extremely excited to see how he fits into this system. 5'11", 180, according to the Alcorn website, Alcorn website out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Didn't compete in 2020 as a true freshman due to COVID-19. But going back to high school, a two-time all-district selection, three-time player of the week winner at Scotland High School, he had offers from some big schools, Air Force, Nickel State, Southeastern Louisiana, Baylor, LSU, Southern Miss, all showed interest in the talented defensive back um, out of Baton Rouge. But last year, man, he he found a, a, his place in a loaded secondary. I already mentioned KJ Kinsler, Jawan Taylor, but last year totaled only 14 tackles, but had a top five or top 10 in, in the SWAC and pass breakups with eight pass breakups for Alcorn last year. He can fly around the field, fit multiple roles in the secondary. And when you look at all when you look at all the pickups right now that Grambling has had in the secondary, their defense looks extremely strong. Last year, there was a lot of questions in terms of how this offense can catch up. The offense was really lacking. They bring in Hugh Jackson. Well, I'm a, a lot of people assume that offense at offense is going to look a lot different, but this defense got after people. People forget that Grambling. When you when you watched when you watched them last year, they forced a kill glass and I believe four interceptions was one of the keys to winning that game. The defense shut down Southern and the Bayou Classic. They they did a lot of good things, and now landing a player like this just is icing on the cake for them. When you look in their secondary additions right now, Devin Bush from Arkansas, Cam Johnson or Cam Cam, uh, Cam Jones from SMU, Jalen Martin from Cal, this secondary has a lot of talent, and they're returning some of their top players from last season too as well. So Grandpa's defense is looking like it's going to be a problem. If that offense can take the necessary step forward, Grambling looks like they're probably going to compete for the SWAC championship. But this is a huge pickup. This is a great choice, in my opinion, by, by Chris uh uh, Degree here and I think he's going to fit right in I'm interested to see where they put him I think he's probably going to fit into one of the safety spots depending on what type of defensive scheme they might run maybe even a nickel spot for him I'm excited to see how he develops you know possibly as even a guy who can come down in the box last year for Alcorn he played a lot of snaps and coverage and did a great job there like I said top 10 in pass breakups in the SWAC last year but this is a guy who comes with multiple years of eligibility left I believe I believe he has three or four years of eligibility left due to COVID on top of already having a full season of experience playing in the SWAC, playing against some of the teams that, that Grambling is going to see this year. So I think this is an excellent pickup for Grambling. A great decision here by Chris Degree to decide to head to Grambling. This defense is going to be really, really fun to watch. And this just caps off a huge offseason of transfer additions for Grambling and Hugh Jackson. And it's going to be exciting to see how it all pays off in the fall. But 
Comment below your thoughts on Chris Dagry transferring from Alcorn to Grambling. How is he going to fit into the system? What is he going to bring to the defense? And overall, can Grambling get to the SWAC championship and come, come out of a very, very tough SWAC West next year? Comment all that below. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. And until next time, guys, the Blue Bloods are out.